This is a story about Baby Mario and Yoshi. A story that took place a long, long time ago in the galaxy far, far, no, sorry. The stork hurries across the dusky pre dawn sky. Yep, there you go, there's a song coming up. It's dawn! In his bill, he carries a pair of rubbers. How we know that? Well, uh, take a wild guess. Suddenly, a shadow appears in the gap between the clouds and races towards the stork with blinding speed. Oh my god, I'm blind! I mean, sorry. Screech! These babies are blind! <laughs> Still on the chuff. Whoa! Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. Or leaving the stalk spinning like um, a spinny thing into the darkness from whence it came. Right, that's all I want to get off. The second baby falls undetected towards the non parallax scrolling, non animated, briny blue. Oh, you missed that trick there, Nintendo. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It still looks kind of awesome. <gasps> oh no! Meanwhile, down on Yoshi's Island, home to all Yoshis. It's a lovely day, and Yoshi is taking her Yoshi. When Yoshi out. <gasps> Suddenly, out of nowhere, a baby falls onto his back. Miraculously, not actually breaking it. <laughs> Fortunately, the baby seems to be just fine. Somehow. What? Something else fell along with the baby and did split Yoshi's head open, considering the distance it fell. Let's take a peek, but first. Ah, that's better. Anyways, it looks like a map. Maybe this dog was using it. Well, Dora, I mean, it's gonna know where it's going, isn't it? Yoshi can't figure out this strange situation. Oh, it's a speck of the orange. Yes. Yes. Yoshi's can't read. He decides to talk to his friends about it. Well, see, yep, that's the situation. That's what you gotta do. Talk to your pals. Ah! Panic the evil magic keeper who kidnapped the baby. Are you still doing it here? Oh, sorry. Bye. Quickly dispatches his gang of nasty toadies. Nasty toadies. Wouldn't be anything else, would they? When he discovers that he missed the other baby. He's still a hobby man right now, he's still hopping. Yoshi casually heads back to the other Yoshis. Yep, as the casual Yoshi does, casually. Completely unaware of the danger close at hand. Nino, 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 Nino. Hammock's forces are actively searching the island. Hey guys, wait for me! <laughs> Will the two brothers ever safely reach their parents? Ooh, who knows? Well, we'll find out as we start this new playthrough! Hello, this is J9LP, and I'll be playing through Super Mario Advance 3, Yoshi's Island. This is essentially a re-release of um, uh, Yoshi's Island, a game that was released in 1995 for the Super Nintendo. And I'm kind of doing this as a uh, kind of added sort of Offhand playthrough. I've been meaning to do this for quite a while now. I'm uh, while I'm sort of trudging through the lunar nights. So oh, by the way, um, I'm still waiting for the results, but I might end up just going ahead and doing a quest anyway. About that, anyways. So this is Yoshi's Island, and that wonderful um, uh, kind of title screen of the island, the mixture of all the sprites and the Mode Seven esque goodness. And this was a game that had a pretty marvellous um, uh, title tune. Very slow going. And uh, anyway, apart from that, it was also um, uh, one of the Super Nintendo games that used the Super FX chip, um, which I was actually used at this point for more than just throwing 3D polygons around like in Stunt Maker Race FX and on um, uh, Star Fox things before it. Um, so this is that he used the uh, the Super FX chip to do some more sprite manipulation, and he did it very well in this game. Anyways, 
if not for a right deer. Um, yeah, I should really get up to these. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Um, oh, I'll just get rid of that one. Start all over again. There. How well, you can rob things out of a finger, I do not know, but it works. Anyways, um, so now we start a new game and start a new story. Oh, she's ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Yoshi's Island, the paradise where all the Yoshis live. They are all in the floor about the baby that fell from the sky. Hey guys, Mr. Ram! Oh my god, ah, oh, jeez! He made it my back before. Wait, it's he to do the baby new news where he wants to go. The bond between the br brothers tells each of them where the other one is. Probably they both have on the smartphones or GPS or whatever. Anyways, Yoshi's decided to carry him to his destination via a relay system because hey we're gonna make this fun don't we? And so begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and Baby Mario. Well of course I have to go then! Go on clear off! Screw you guys! <laughs> you suck! Um, <laughs> in the way so we leap off the side of the screen and start um, uh, the Welcome to Yoshi's Island, which is essentially a tutorial level, which will tell you lots of things on the way. If, like, if baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Kamek's toadies will swoop in and kill that baby Mario, and no one wants that. The more stars, i.e. those little star-type things with feet you collect, the safer it will be. Once baby Mario is safe, the timer will... the timer, rather, will count back up to... Complete the stage by passing Baby Mario to the next helpful Yoshi! And this is essentially what you do. You jump, you walk, just squash enemies, and you eat them. We'll tell you about that later on. Well, as you go to the next level anyways. So, what are you going to be expecting in this playthrough? Well, to be completely totally honest, I'm on my lap for that game. Um, so I will be trying my best to get um, as many of them uh, kind of the flowers and the, the red star, the red coins and the, and the, um, uh, the stars as I can. I'm not promising to get all of the stars, but I'll try my best, that's all I can say. Anyway, we now go to the world map in Yoshi's Island, or rather the island map, if you want to call it that. And we'll start our first world, which is World 1. And we'll go to the first level. And this will give you an idea of how well I can do in this anyway. First level, make eggs for eggs, which I kind of did before, but I'm uh, sort of show you how to do it. All you do is this. Uh, you poop out eggs. Yeah. <laughs> you grab an enemy with B, i.e. your tongue on. Um, then you press down to make an egg, and then you throw the egg with R, and well, we'll show you what happens. After you've eaten that, you press down straight away, it usually just poops out an egg, and you can do this. And you can do plenty of things like that, like knock off enemies, and grab the flower, which you couldn't see on the screen for some reason. Um, she will give a fire for a one-up, and it will add to your point total. The point total is the one most important thing in the game. No little trick here. Um, uh, you can't usually, well maybe you can, but some places you can't actually get towards it. So what I usually do at that point is jump and it always grab me. You'll see how each one comes in a minute. I just want to come back from the plant down there. I'll have this flower though. Um, and that one. And these are the things you've got to do the throwing egg for. That will un unlock a heck of a lot of things in this game. And you can walk up stars and find among this lot red coins that you need to get 20 of. And another flower. And stars. Um what this game doesn't actually what this game doesn't actually tell you in the first instance is that if you get stars you'll get beyond 10 and uh, 
10 points, as it were, 10 seconds. Uh, anyways, and you need to get a total of 30. So, it's a bit of a trap to do. Anyways, ooh, the fly over there, shall we get it? Not now, let's just put it down there. And we'll find more coins! Oops, there you go. And a one up! I'm sure you can bother with that. Anyways, with these little fiery things up there, all you need to do, if I can do it, get it to eat that and it will shoot up more stars! Nice. Exactly what we need. And there are also some red coins here, um, which. Knock this green block. That will give you a maximum of six um, uh, eggs, which is the maximum you can get. Um, and then jump on here and somewhere uh, a bunch more uh, red coins. I think it's these ones, is it? There's a bit more over here. So I'm not quite good at the gate. That'll do! And now we can use this to um, uh, get out! Nice to go! As usual with any Mario game, yes this is a Mario game folks, don't let anyone tell you about that. Okay. I, there's obviously a debate on, on that and I don't want to get into it. Personally I, I think, let's just call it a Mario game. Why the hell is not? You can argue as much as you like anyway. More green the floor! Um, it's one of these um, Malprana grants grab you, all they'll do is they'll, they'll spit you out. Um, but you'll end up using the road just the same way. Let's take that. Yikes! That's a trick I told you about, because you can't go beyond this point there. I usually just jump and do it. Oh, and that's how you do the Yenma. Good old ground stump that we find in Mario game. Anyway, nice. let's just get this thing here and it brings a seed that will grow. Oh, lovely looking flower, a big stone. Wow, did you not get enough water from that? Nice. Let's go over here and find another cloud of wings and a flower. Just what we need. And that will be the last flower. Which is exactly what we need. Yep. Okay, let's get these two because they are red coins and we definitely want red coins and let's roll this thing down. I think there is something there, but I don't know what it is. To be completely totally not to be honest. Um, there are also some hidden. Oh, look! Ninja! Ninja shy guys, huh? Oh. Alright, let's see what this is. More stars! Nice! That brings our total up to 30, which is exactly what we want. Oops. Nice. And now we can finish the level! Yay! Yeah. And we wait to the wheel to stop. Where it will stop, no one knows. Ah, stop something. If you hit one of those flowers, you get a bonus stage. Anyways, so that is the first stage where I've got... Oh, I missed on my uh, three red coins. Damn it. Anyways. I'm pretty sure I've got them before, I have to remember where they are. Anyways, so that is the first level, and we'll go back to the world map. And a certain number of points, you all get some, uh, um, uh, some gifts as well. So we'll go on to the next level, but we'll be doing that in the next video.